Hello friends, welcome back. Let's discuss one more trick today. Uh, in this session, we are going to talk about log4j2.xml externalized properties. Okay, so for example, in this case, I'm trying to add a, a customized data dog append over here and I want to refer this property as externalized property. Okay, so you can refer uh, properties in your log4j2 ways. You can get it from the context, the you know, collision I am taking from the context. And this you want to pass during runtime. Okay. Some properties you can automatically comes like for host name, right? You can get it uh, uh, automatically. So let's let's let us focus on our uh, data dog API key. Okay. So this value you need to pass during your deployment. Okay. So for example, now if I pass this value, if I run it from the AnyPoint Studio, and if I pass this value. In run configuration, I run try to run it from the AnyPoint Studio. It will work perfectly fine. Okay, so let's go here, and you can say minus d, and uh, what your name of your uh, property dd API key equal to one two three four. This will work perfectly fine. This way, your log project will be able to read the property when you're running locally. Okay, cancel it. Don't save. Second, you can go to your command line. So let's go there and say show in in system explorer it will start a command line okay go here and say okay so if you if you try to deploy this mvn okay clean deploy and you try to pass the same property minus d dd api key this equal to one two three four this will not work okay why will we see that okay so if you try to do this this will not work okay so maven won't be able to read those properties only it will work when you are passing it in your in your any point studios now what is the solution for this okay this is one thing let's ask few questions to ourselves can i keep this property in my properties file for example we'll be having some property file here so can i create a property file new and say file here let's say config dot yaml and uh, can i add that dd API key colon one two three four. This is also not not going to work because your log four j two dot xml won't be able to read properties from your property file. That is one thing. So this is answer is no. I can't keep the properties over here. Now what options we have? We need to go to that is a trick now, guys. Okay. So let's go to your form dot xml. And inside the pom.xml, you need to add your deployment. So you'll be having your deployment. So for example, I'll, I'll keep another uh, project where I have cloud of two dot deployment part. So let me just bring in, uh, let me check whether this guy has. No, okay, so just, yeah, let me open one project where I have yeah CICD because we're trying to run the Maven command for the deployment right so it should have that cloud of two deployment yes this one okay here you need to pass the property under this section so you need to create that property saying that dd api key and then you need to pass the value here one two three four or you can externalize from here so you can say dollar curly bracket curly bracket and based on your now once you have this now if i run this command maven ddapk123 this will work otherwise it won't be lock for j 2xml won't be able to find this property and then you won't be able to send your logs 
to your uh, your data dog okay so that was a trick let me quickly recap so in log4j2.xml i'm trying to refer a property system colon property this is the syntax other way we can refer the property context so that is the correlation i'm referring it if i want to refer this or if i want to pass this value during my deployment i need to mention this property inside my cloud hub 2 or cloud hub deployment section property section there i need to mention and then during deployment i can pass this property like this then only it will work so that's the trick hope you liked it if you like it please go ahead and subscribe the channel if you're not done thank you for watching